Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Hell. How are you doing? How's life? Did you miss me? I know, I know, I'm so adorable sometimes I even miss myself. <laughs> and apparently I'm a jerk. Hi. So, in the comments of the last video and also the previous one, some of you guys were suggesting that I cut less from the videos and include more footage and try to make the videos longer. I wanted to address some of those comments. Hi. <laughs> I personally do not understand what would be the entertainment part of watching me chopping down wood, drink water, kill mobs, hold the dirt, plant crops, and drink more water. Because that's just a waste of time, right? I personally believe that if I include every footage of me doing very repetitive stuff or very boring or very basic stuff, it's just a waste of time and it's not going to be entertaining for you. But I do respect your opinion and I think I will cut less. I will cut some of the stuff, but I will try to cut less and make the episodes more frequent. Let's see how it goes. And it's turning nighttime, so I should probably sleep. He's watching me sleeping. Weirdo. <laughs> So that lion guy is called a pharadon and making his treat is not that difficult and I only had enough rabbit to make four. Let's hope it does not eat my face before he gets satisfied. And he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Eat the, eat the snacks, eat the snacks. Are you friendly? Oh yes, he's mine. Uh, how do I pick him up? Can I pick him up? Oh, he needs a saddle. Okay, I have a saddle. Can you just follow me? Don't despawn. Uh, okay, hold shift and... How, how do you follow people? Oh yeah, okay, he will follow me. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but we shift right click and we put the saddle and you can also accept a chest and armor. Can I write you? <gasps> oh my goodness. We can write him! How do I look? I look amazing. Hi! Apparently this guy also has an attack when you're riding him and he will jump, scare the mobs and give them some sort of damage. We just need one mob to try this. A chicken will do. So we press X. Did you do something? Oh yeah! He damages mobs. That's nice. I don't want to lose him because it's turning nighttime. I had a plan for this episode, but suddenly a lot of things have changed. It's turning into winter and we have ice. And if you break the ice, it will give you the ice cubes. Oh yeah, that's very good because I needed them in order to remain cold in the nether. And I didn't know how to get them. In the comments of the last video, FS Boss left me a very comprehensive comment trying to explain how I should prepare before I go to the nether. And apparently one of the problems that I have, which I also realized that I have this problem, is that I don't have access to clean water. So we need to work on that. And apparently if you make clean water, oh, that dries up. That's not good. That's very bad. <laughs> uh oh. Um, anyway, if you have access to clean water, then you should be able to make a juice, which is made with beetroot and sugar. And that will give you a lot of saturation for thirst and that's very effective apparently so we are going to try and make it and now that it's winter time i'm not sure how it will affect our crops but we do have some beetroot and we might as well try it i hope this is not like terra firma craft where during the winter crops will pop up and we will lose all the seeds i hope it's not because otherwise we're screwed so we should boil the water make some sugar and then just combine everything in order to get this? It's good that I'm also thirsty, we will see the effect. And please be ready, thank you. And we just craft you. So how do you affect me? That's not bad. You just need a bottle every single time. <laughs> but I guess that's the only way. I wanted to plant some sugarcane and then I realized if it's winter and the water freezes, then uh, we're going to have some problem because uh, they will just pop up and despawn. These torches that we have in the village, they're the vanilla torches. So they will not turn off. Where did it fall? <laughs> they will not turn off. Where did you fall? 
did they just lose the torch? Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, they will not turn off after a while. So I was thinking that maybe we dismantle these guys and put them down here so that we will have some light and the river will not freeze around here. That's an idea, I guess. So if we break it, it should not freeze again. Yeah, I'm guessing this should work, but just in case, I will keep one sugar cane in reserve. Just in case. Uh, I do have a plan to go mining because caving is not an option and apparently I'm also freezing. <laughs> but before doing that, I want to take a look at that island up there. And we do have a lot of dirt, so we should be able to scaffold. And if I'm freezing, can I make a campfire? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, that's easy. So one campfire and I'm not sure if it's a good idea to put it inside my home so we'll just put it here and I did bring a matchbox. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. How do you work? Uh, a torch? No. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't think you have to be a rocket scientist. We should be able to just lit it up with a flint and steel, right? Do you work? I think you work. Whoop, yep, you do work. I think my particles are off. So that should be lit. And I should feel warm? I'm not feeling warm. Actually, when I stand close to it, I get warmer. So that's nice. Uh, I'm making some water bottles so that we can go and visit that island up there. I'll be right back. It seems that I'm feeling warmer and it's also daytime because I just slept. So let's go and try this. I put a log over there so that I would just scaffold on top of here. And let's go and see how it works. I hope nothing goes wrong. I did also bring an ender pearl so that if anything goes wrong, I can just jump down. Hopefully. Some mobs have spawned up here and I don't have enough faith. Yes, I don't. Did you make me float? Jump. Yes. Okay, we're alive. Not for long, but, you know. What the hell are you? Okay, we're dead. Really, we're dead. Uh, can I jump down? I'm alive. Don't know why. Attempt number two, and this time we're going to have a bow. Hopefully it will work. And this time no one's here. I wonder why. Well, there are some guys down there, but luckily they have not seen me. And whoop. What was that? Oh, I'm just feeling cold. Uh, I have to go in. We have to go in. Give me a hole. Come on. Yes, we're in. Uh, somewhere hot. A torch? That's not gonna help. Okay, at least I'm not dying. Okay, I am dying. <laughs> uh, let's, I don't know, let's try to make a furnace or something. Th th there were furnaces. Maybe we burn something and it keeps us warm. I'm not very sure. Uh, we do this. Will you keep me warm? Please? I think it worked. What's inside here? Wow. We hit the jackpot. It does seem that the more furnaces we have going on, the faster I will warm up. Uh, luckily, there are no creatures here which can kill me. So let's also cook some chicken and we should get warm, I hope. Well, I died and this time I brought a flint and steel just in case. Oh, some more stuff. Okay, let me explore. Okay, the loots are not that bad. We get a lot of paper, a name tag, more paper, and a lot of books. Feathers are very useful. Did you have feathers too? Yes, we can make arrows. Okay, we have someone and he drops snow. Thank you. There's actually so much stuff here that I'm not sure how the hell am I going to take them all home. It's full of stuff. An axe, okay. I might have made a mess. I wanted to keep myself warm and I'm burning down the place. Well, I think the logical solution is that I just jump down and die because there is no way I'm going to make it home. Literally no way. Uh, should we jump here? Yep. 
it's a long journey. So where the hell did I jump down? Oh, over there. Okay, okay. We have everything. That is good. As it turns out, you can put a campfire inside your home and it will keep you warm and it will not burn down the house. So far. <laughs> anyway, I do have a... What the hell is this? It's been here for a while and I don't know what is that. Uh, should we dig? What if something comes out and kills me? <laughs> Looks like chainmail. You're an armor stand? Which got stuck. Okay. There's also something next to my bed because whenever I go to sleep, I see it. Ah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Someone made a mess. A full iron suit. Oh, and by the way, the loot that I got from the Sky Island, which we just climbed and died twice, is mainly wood, food, books, and I also got an axe and also an iron legging, which is crumbling, apparently. <laughs> anyway, I do have another plan. I want to go mining, but I do not want to go caving because I'm scared of caves. So I was thinking that we do this the vanilla style and dig straight down to level 12. The problem is the coordinates are disabled, so... I don't know which level we're standing right now, and if you don't know which level you're standing right now, then you don't know how far you should dig down. But there is one way we can do this. In Minecraft, the sea level is at Y level 62. So if I stand here, this is Y level 62, because that is the sea. And the river is also at the same Y level. So if we want to dig down to Y level 12, we have to dig down 50 blocks. That's it. So I was thinking that in the back of our house, we do have a very small yard, and if I dig down from here, I think we should be fine. Let's make some torches, and that's not a matchbox, this is a matchbox. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'll just dig down from here, right? What can go wrong? Uh, we need ladders. Just to make sure that I do not screw this up, we are going to need 53 ladders, because this is Y level 65. So there's nothing left to do except digging down and I really hope nothing goes wrong. You know, the deeper that I'm going, I'm hearing very weird noises. You can hear them too, right? <laughs> this is terrifying. We're almost there. Three more levels and we already have iron, which is very good. The only problem is I forgot to bring water. So yeah. <laughs> oh no, I do have wheat root. Okay, we're fine. We're very fine. And Y level 12. So we should be able to also find diamonds. I hope. So I just dug like five blocks. And I think this is the heart shard. Is it? What do you give me? Nothing. <laughs> Can I even break? Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our first diamond ore and the second one that's it oh there's more so i just died out of hypothermia i love this pack it, it, it's amazing <laughs> it's super awesome seems that i have randomly lost my chest plate i can't find it anywhere <laughs> but anyway that was a nice trip because i did manage to get 26 pieces of iron ore and we should be able to make some hoppers and automate the production of clean water because doing it one by one is just it's it's just no no <laughs> and by automation i just mean we will use hoppers <laughs> that's it it's nothing very complicated but for fuel i was thinking of using sticks and there is a recipe for a saw how much will you give me per log Eight. That's that's not bad. That's actually very good. So we put a chest, then we put the hopper here, and then we should be able to put the furnace, which goes here. This will be for the fuel, and we need one for the input, which we will use a chest. Yeah. And we can also put a chest here for the fuel. And we put the water bottles on the top and we will get purified water in the bottom which is very good and i have hypothermia again awesome there is something that will keep me warm and for that we need to go to the nether because it requires a magma block we do have slime balls but we don't have blaze powder so maybe we go to the nether and get lucky i don't know we have obsidian 
We have six here, and that's it. Two here. We should have more. I think I have one in my bedroom. This is like garbage chests. Okay, we, we have three more here, and I'm dying again. <laughs> okay, let's make the portal before I die. I think we should just put it in this house, because if something spawns from the nether portal itself, I don't want it to be inside my village. We have a portal. Uh, can I just dump everything here and go have a look? Is there a chest? I dumped everything here and I have nothing on me, so I don't care if I die. I just want to see if we go to the nether... How does it look like? That's it. We are in the nether and we are in a cave, which is very good. So, hopefully there won't be anything stupid nearby. Just remember, I, I don't really care if I die. Oh, there are magma blocks! Here. Okay, that's very good. Um, I'll go around, see if I find something interesting, and... Well, I, I'll basically wait until I die. <laughs> On a positive note, at least I'm feeling warm, and I do not have hypothermia anymore, and this is a dead end. Okay, I'll go until I die. <laughs> what the hell are you? Uh, thank you, I guess. I don't really care. I made the stone pickaxe and we're going to go and collect some magma blocks and I'm going to be warm. Finally. And he's not gone. But I guess he will die soon. Yes. Okay. That was easy. Uh, where were the... What are you? Oh, you're another one. Okay. Nether wart. That's nice. Can I kill him? I know I'm not wearing any armor, but I just want magma blocks, nothing else. Oh, you cannot... Oh, you get pieces. Okay. But I can use them, right? I honestly don't think we need anything more, because you can convert them back, right? Yes. So, we just go back home and make warm clothing. I think I left the slime balls in the other base, so... Yeah. <laughs> I need to go and collect them. Okay, we have four. That's good. What else do I need from here? Uh, yeah, we take anything. And we run. And I have made it back. Super. If I die, I don't really care. And I died. <laughs> uh, guess what? My home was obstructed. So, we're screwed. Again. Oh, there's a village there. I'm being very lucky. If I make it to the village, of course. And I've made it to the shore. Okay. That was very stressful. And by the way, did you know that by gathering crops, you will gain experience? So, uh, we don't have to kill sheep this time. And the waystone is just over there. Awesome. I just don't remember the name of my own waystone. That, that's the main problem. Uh, we go to this one, I don't really care. Oh, we made it back home! Apparently I'm dying and I think I do not have enough time in order to make the suit. So we are going to make the coil and I need a lever and I cannot find the stick. Are you a stick? No. <laughs> Where's the stick? Oh, I was just thirsty. You know, I hate this pack. I just hate it. Protect me, you fool! Just punch him to death! Apparently I can. Okay. Run for the home. You know, this is turning into a nightmare and I cannot get back to my own stupid home. And I just went the wrong way. Don't die! Don't kill my thing! Don't kill my pet! Yes, he is alive. Good. Uh, what was I trying to do? Uh, I was trying to make a lever. <laughs> okay, we need one stick. All these stupid things in order to just make a lever and try to stay warm. I'm warm? Hopefully? Maybe? Yes, it's working. Finally. I should probably put it in the bedroom. Alright guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. We did manage to get food, 
we have a pet, we have a mine shaft, so we have access to iron, we have clean water, and we went to the nether, and we can keep ourselves warm. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.